Hi guys, today I will be making an envelope for a 6x7 card and a mini review of the envelope punch board by Real Memory Keepers. It comes with a scoring tool and two punches. The reverse one is a corner rounder. It has both imperial and metric measurements for making the envelopes. You take your paper and line it up to the number mentioned in the score line column at the board, then you punch and score. There are two ways for you to complete your envelope. You can either turn your paper 180 degrees and line it up again to the number mentioned on the board and punch and score, or you can turn your paper 90 degrees, align the scoring line you've just made to the notch and punch and score. If you do it this way, you have to be very precise. The notch must be in the middle of the scoring line, otherwise, if it is even a bit below or above, the finished envelope will be a bit off. If you use the first method I mentioned, you then turn your paper to the two sides you haven't punched yet, you align the notch to the scoring line you've already made, and then you punch and score again. Then, according to your personal preference, you can either use the top punch to round the corners, or leave them as is. Then, depending on the cardstock or designer series paper you used, you can reinforce the score line, fold the flap and add your adhesive and then you're done. Depending on the card you've made, whether it's a portrait or a landscape one, you will add the adhesive to the respective sides. All the process is very easy and your envelope is completed in less than 5 minutes. I prefer using red tape adhesive because I find it less messy and more secure. I'm not worried the, the envelope will open during its journey to the recipient. So the main question is, is it a must-have tool? In my opinion, if you are someone who constantly makes your own envelopes, it's a must-have. It makes the process very easy and quick. You can make it in under 5 minutes. Now, if you are someone who makes envelopes once in a while and you already have a scoring board, for example like Martha Stewart's 12x12 scoring board, uh, which comes with a triangle and you just adjust it on the board specifically for making envelopes. Thus having two tools in one. You could use that and spend the money you'd give for the envelope punch board on something else. Personally, I make envelopes for all my cards and sometimes for non-card related projects and I use it all the time. Although I do have Martha Stewart's 12x12 scoring board which comes with a triangle, I find using the envelope punch board by We Are Memory Keepers easier and sometimes faster. I would definitely recommend it if you like customizing your own envelopes. These are my thoughts on the envelope punch board by We Are Memory Keepers. I hope you found the video useful. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!